Hello, Nomad Cult, and this video is about the hierarchy and what you can do with it um, to create a posable base mesh. So it's something like a, a rig, <laughs> but um, it's not a real rig. Okay, so I show you. <clears throat> so I have here ca a character and and here on the left side you see here the hierarchy so there is no structure and nothing so everything is a single object and so on so okay <clears throat> and i keep the hierarchy open so let's start so in the tools menu you see here um, there's a select tool with the select tool you can uh, use a lasso function and select here parts of your body or your, your character. And you see in the hierarchy they are highlighted. Sorry, with a lasso tool it doesn't work. Um, so I have to use view tool. So here you see all the objects um, that um, for the arm. And we only need one arm, so this complete arm I delete, so I don't need it. So the next thing I do it the same for the leg. Um, where's my select tool? So I also select the leg and I delete now the, the leg. So I start now here with this mesh and um, in the hierarchy there's an option to rename it here I give it a name so I call it leg and I give it a number leg one okay so the next part here is the lower leg so I call this leg two so you see here in the hierarchy, here is leg one and here is leg two. So I pick now leg one and put it under the leg two, uh, under leg one. You see here in the hierarchy, uh, there's a, so, such a small arrow and here it's, yeah, it's a child now. And when you select this, this upper mesh and use the gizmo you see here now both meshes are connected okay so so now I connect the foot so here I lasso select this thing here and I join this mesh here there's a joining function then it's only one mesh and now I give it a name and call it foot. So, and now, now I pick this foot and bring it as a child under leg two. So now you got here, a, sorry, I use a few tool. You got here a, such a small group here where the parent is the leg one. You see it here, uh, it's red outlined. And under leg one is the leg two and the foot. So, and maybe you, <laughs> you want an, a knee or something, <laughs> yes. So then so I use the add function and add a sphere. So and with a with a gizmo tool, I bring the knee in position. Here is a like this. I validate this mesh 
and I call this me. So where we need the knee. So I put the leg, um, this out of the, the leg group here and I put the knee under leg one. And then I put the second part, the leg two under the knee. So now when I select the knee, <laughs> the lower leg is selected and the foot. So now you can control via the gizmo the lower leg. Okay, let's select the, the first part, the leg one. And here on the left side you found, find here a pivot option. Select this option and then it's possible to edit the pivot position here. Where the, yeah, in real life is your, uh, your bone. So maybe in this position. When you uh, have positioned your pivot, then deselect on the left side the pivot option. And yeah, so now it's possible to rotate the complete leg. Okay, so let's do the same thing with the arm. So I use now the where is my select tool? So I select this part here and I join it together and rename it as arm one. So I select the, the next part. This is arm two. So I select here um, yeah, so maybe I yeah I clone the knee and and I bring it here in position. You don't need the sphere. You can use also only the the parts of the arm and so on. So I call this. Um, L bow. Okay. So this elbow we put in the hierarchy under arm one. So when I select arm one, so the elbow and the yeah and the upper arm is selected. Then I put arm two under the elbow. So, and the last thing is here, um, here uh, you can place every finger and everything here um, separate in a, in a, in a hierarchy, um, but uh, I use now only the complete hand. So I use a select tool, select the whole thing here re and join it together and then I rename it as hand. So, and now I put this hand under, as a child, under arm two. So now we have to place the pivot points. So when you use now the, the gizmo tool, you see here the gizmo for the hand is at the moment here. So activate the gizmo and use center. And now move it a little bit to the left and here in position. And check the side view. Okay. And leave the pivot option. So test it and when you test your 
your pivot points always uh, use uh, the undo function to bring it back in the original position okay so the next thing is we need um, the arm to position pivot activate pivot bring it here in this position it's correct so and the last point is arm one so where's my pivot here pivot center and I place it here on the shoulder so check the side view it's okay so let's test the whole arm it works okay so um, so I select here the leg and I I hide now the mesh here and now we need the body for the body I select here the hips and I join them so I call it hips with double P hips uh, I don't know so okay and then we need the the breast here or the so so this is yeah this is the part I join it and I call it body So the this here, this part here is the neck. And this mesh here, this is join and now this is the head. So to control the head, we need again the, the gizmo tool and the pivot option, center it and bring it here in, in position where the, the neck is. So this is the head. And the, the basic or the base for the head is the neck. So we place the head as a child of the neck. So, so for the neck we need also a pivot point so I place it here somewhere where the, the backbone uh, runs uh, along the body here, like this here I think <laughs> okay pivot and let's check it so now the head works and so the base for the head is the body so I put the, the neck and the head as a child of the body so when I select now the body everything here is selected head neck okay so for the body we also need a pivot point sorry pivot center and I bring it here in position maybe like this position so let's test it okay so now our arm needs a position so the base for the arm is the body mesh here. 
So I pick now the complete arm group here, this complete thing here, and put it under the body mesh as a child. So let's test the body. So now the arm moves yeah, complete. The next thing is you see here at the moment here for the body mesh here's the gizmo here in the center position and this center position we need for a mirror repeater. So on the left side you see here um, a pin option. So pin this position of the gizmo and then select the arm group. Then use the um, add function and you see here option on gizmo. So this is the checkbox you need and you need now a mirror repeater. So in the hierarchy there is now a mirror repeater on this position and mirrors the arm from the right side to the left side. So now it's time to validate this object and here is the option here to keep the instances. So use this one and say yes. So now you see here there are two arms here. This uh, arm one and again another arm one. So I select now this side here, this is the red one and I it's from my view here. I say this is here um, arm right. And the other one is arm left. So when you select now here one part so and uh, here you see you see uh, the pin option is active uh, deselected so i think we uh, we lost the pivot position so i check the elbow is correct the arm here is correct and the hand is correct but the, the arm here is we lost this pivot we bring it in position again no problem maybe it's a thing with a validation of the mirror so pivot so now let's check this one here's a pivot and you see here the direction is, is different here so when I select this one the green arrow is in the up direction and here in the down direction so now it's possible to move your arm here like this and it's possible to use here maybe I use a clay brush and when I'm when I pick here oh clay is not good I need the move tool so when you see uh, we move something we move it also on the other side here but it's possible to change the position of the arm and sculpt here in, um, in, in a pose on both meshes. So the next thing is um, here the neck and the, the head we also place on the body. So I bring it here and place it as a child on the body. So when we select now the body and move it as a complete um, yeah, upper body with the head and the arms move. Okay. So now the next thing is we need the leg. I select the leg and make it visible again. So we need here 
again a center point I change the pivot position to the center of the hips so and maybe I bring it in this position yeah so again we use the pin option pinning and now I select the leg add on gizmo a mirror repeater and now I validate the whole thing with keep instances yes so now we have here our leg right and the other one where is it here and this is leg left okay and this group here I don't need I delete it and oh sorry I, I need it yes the group is nice so and now I move the complete group here under the hips as a child. So now the hips are connected with the legs. Okay. So now let's check the pivot points. <coughs> Remember the pin option deselected and now now edit the pivot point for the for the leg here. Check the side view. So this is pivot option pivot one. For the knee it's okay. Here for the upper leg uh, or lower leg sorry uh, we need a new pivot position maybe here. And then for the foot We change also the pivot to a position here like this. Pivot. So let's check everything here. The foot works. It's nice. The knee. So we we got here. Here is a knee. I think this one we don't need at the moment. So here this knee works. And here is also a duplicate of this one. So we don't need it. Okay. And here, yeah, it works. So it checks the other positions here. So, and then ch check the neck. Okay. So we have a complete hierarchy now for this thing and I call this here possible female base. So this is a complete character. So and also for this group here we can set a pivot point maybe here in this position here. Okay. 
So I save now the whole thing here. Save. And I rename it Posable Female Base. So now let's test the whole thing. I create a new scene and I delete the sphere. I add a maybe a box. Okay. So now I'm I add to scene my posable female base mesh. So So now I use uh, the transform tool. I can pick it. I don't know what happened, so I use the gizmo. So I place it here. I scale it. Okay. And now I bring the the mesh in a pose I want. So you can select all the meshes and bring them in position where you want. So I turn on now the wireframe. So when we need here more topology, so I can voxel remesh the whole thing here, remesh. And you see it's also uh, on the other mesh here. And um, now it's possible to to sculpt on your mesh so you see here um, everything you do on on one side it happens to the mesh on the other side so so when we need here yeah you see, you see it's it's mirrored. So now you have a nice posable base mesh. So everything you can bring in position with a gizmo. So that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.